Hi, this is Dom from iRIS. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a navigation link in iRIS. It's a quick and simple process, so this is going to be a quick and simple video. Now first, you select the item you'd like to serve as the hyperlink. Now you can select an iRIS widget, like an image or a text widget, or you can create a hotspot and use that as a link. So once you've created the item you want to hyperlink, you go to the Actions panel and click Add Action. Now this will launch a pop-up dialog. First we're going to set the trigger action. Now this defaults to click, which is what we're going to use. But there are a lot of other options that we can use to trigger the navigation action. There's other click events. We've got mouse events we can choose. There's a nice set of touch events for mobile prototypes. So we'll leave this set to click. And then next we choose the action that we want the click to trigger. The default here is link to screen, and that's what we're going to use. But we can peek at the other available actions and we'll see that they involve things like controlling the visibility of widgets or editing widget properties. And you've also got some data manipulation. So we'll just leave this set to link to screen. So we'll click next and this is the final step. What we're going to do here is select the screen that we want to link to. So if we start typing in the search box, we'll be shown the list of available pages. So we'll pick our page. We can also set a delay or we can launch the link in a new browser window if we like. And that's all there is to it. You'll see here on the right that our navigation action has been saved. And we can always double click this if we'd like to edit it. Or we can select it and delete it if we want to get rid of it. And let's go ahead and hit the play button and we'll simulate this page. And you'll see here a green circle which indicates navigation. And if we click it, the link now takes us where we want to go. So again, the steps were we select the widget, we add the action, we select the trigger, and then we select the location. Now beyond triggering navigation this way, there are a lot of cool things that you can do in iRise where you simulate navigation within the same page. And that involves views. So I'd encourage you to look into those as you begin to use iRise. Thanks for watching and take care.